Fitting new rubber strips to 1800S and 1800E bumper sections can make a difference to the aesthetics of even a fairly untidy bumper. So let's just take you through it. To fit them properly, and I've seen glue and all sorts of things used, you will need a brand new retaining strip. It's worth painting this first before you fit it to the rubber, as although it is zinc plated, it doesn't last very long, as you would know if you've owned an 1800 for any length of time. You'll also need, if you can, a new piece of rubber. Sometimes when you remove it from the packet you'll find it's a bit discoloured but don't worry that will clean up and go a nice healthy shade of black. Fitting it to the curved metal retaining strip can be a little bit tricky so it's best to start with one edge in first. Well I've got one side sort of in but this particular one's being a more of a struggle than the other side. Still, let's get on. As you can see, one end is in, and I'm working my way along the strip, feeding one edge, the remaining edge, over until we reach the end. All right, there we go. On, bit of a struggle, a bit painful on the old thumbs and that, but it's now on. Now, it would be worth putting some protection into the channel behind the rubber strip. I've just applied a rubber friendly grease from an aerosol. I shall now let the excess run out, wipe down the surfaces and then we're ready to fit the strip to the bumper section. Cleaned up the section and the grease has permeated its way into the channel somewhere you're going to find difficulty getting any kind of rust preventative unless you take this strip off regularly which let's be honest is extremely unlikely well I've placed the rubber strip behind the bumper section um, we'll choose this corner hole as our first starting starting point and we're going to use these stainless steel self tappers All right, that's the first one in Putting the corner one in first will allow me to swivel the strip either way to line up the other holes. The screws by the way are approximately half an inch, just under half an inch in length, stainless steel. Obviously if you've got longer screws you might need to pack them out with washers. That's three screws fitted. This end's a little bit difficult because it's starting to bend away. So hold it on a bench, quite firmly one hand and you should be able to put the screw in. There we are, looking very smart, very smart indeed, ready for a fitting and polishing. Makes all the difference, a new strip. Although if you've got old strips, as I have, again these could be cleaned up, give them a new lease of life, providing the inside groove is still in reasonably good condition. All that remains to do now is to fit up the bumper section to the car. And away we go.